It's grilling season, so here to show us how to grill chicken to perfection, we welcome back Vindulge blogger Mary Kressler along with pit master Sean Martin. Always good to see you guys. Yay, okay, here. so we're making chicken right with a blackberry sauce? That's right. Um, when we like to cook, if we can, we love to use as much local seasonal ingredients. Sure. And right now, it's not only grilling season, but it's berry season. Yeah. And so we thought it'd be fun, instead of using berries and something sweet like a dessert, we're going to use them to help create a really awesome chicken recipe. So Sean's going to teach you how he cooks his chicken perfect temperature every time. Okay. No pressure. And, no pressure. Yeah. And then I'll show you how to make this really awesome sweet uh, okay. berry barbecue sauce. Okay. So Sean, go for it. Well, what I are mean, some tips you have? Personally, I think chicken is very underrated. So I love cooking with chicken and I encourage people to just go out and try it. I think the problem though, like with breasts especially, is it gets so dry so quickly. It does. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of different ways to do it, but I think the most important thing is don't overcook it. People right. get so worried about chicken. Right. And I think the seasoning is going to matter. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on okay. the chicken. That's going to create a coat for the rub to actually stick to. Okay. And here we have a mix of sugar and paprika. Do you want me to put paprika. that on? Put oh, right. sugar. Oh, yes. Okay. And so the secret with rubs, whether it's store-bought or you make your own, if there's sugar in there, it's going to potentially burn. And so it's really important that as you put your rub on, yeah. you just have to make sure you're watching the fire. So that, Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Now, speaking of fire, mm -hmm. over here we have a grill. Mm -hmm. And so when you're cooking chicken, one of the most important things you want to focus on is controlling your heat. Right. So this is a standard kettle grill that right. you can get anywhere. And we have what's called the indirect method. Obviously, the coals aren't going but you're controlling your heat by having a direct. This is where your heat is, right. six to 700 degrees. Right. And then this is your indirect side. And so you can move your meats back and forth so that as flame ups happen or as you're seeing the color you like, by moving it over to this side, you're not gonna get that direct heat. And right. That's a couple hundred uh, degrees difference there. Yeah, so you're working it like you would work a, your regulator on your stove. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replicate that here. So okay. what we have is the direct heat on this side and the indirect heat on this side. Uh, and I'm gonna start by uh, asking you to take these tongs. Gotcha. And you're gonna place the chicken right on the direct heat. Okay, and do I do it skin side down? So start with skin side down with okay. the rub. You can hear that sizzle. Yeah. We're going to add a little bit more rub onto the top, which I'll do for you. And then Mary's going to walk you through the berry sauce. Okay. There we go on that. All right, Mary. All right. So we have got some blackberries here. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we go berry picking with my kids, which is like their favorite thing to do in the summer, we always come back with pounds and pounds of berries. And this is one of their favorites. So you can use... I'm with your kids on that one. Right? It's yeah. so fun. So you can use any kind of berry that's in season. We've, you can use strawberries. We have a strawberry one and a blackberry one Ooh. right here. Okay. Um, the idea is really to just infuse your barbecue sauce with some berries. Oh, okay. And we're going to do a Carolina-style barbecue sauce today, which is like a vinegar-based sauce. But okay. if you don't like that, if you prefer more of that kind of tomato-based... Right. Easy. The same method applies. You're just okay. going to add your berries to it. So Everything gonna... going okay over there, Sean? Absolutely. Okay. Nothing to see here. So we're going to start. If you want to put over <laughs> in that pan. <laughs> start with some apple cider vinegar. And put it in here. Um, nope. Just oh. put it in the pan. Oh, okay. Yep. I was like, where are we going to this? Okay. Yeah, we've got this little chicken guy. In front gotcha. Of us. And then we got a little bit of ketchup. All right. Can use that to help you out gotcha. there. And we're going to add some hot sauce. Now, this is really going to depend on how hot your hot sauce is. This is not a super spicy hot sauce. So we have about a quarter of a cup there. Okay. But if your hot sauce is really spicy, you want to start small, maybe a tablespoon at a time, just to make sure it doesn't get too hot. Sure. And then we're going to add a little bit of regular sugar. Okay. okay I'll do that for you. And then some agave. And what the agave is going to do is add just a little bit of shine towards the end. It's really going to help kind of get that oh, really beautiful color. Right. If you don't have agave, you could easily just use honey. It's going to do the same thing. Okay, I um, like the idea of the shine because it does, it yeah. adds to the appeal of it. Yeah, okay. any of those pictures you see on Instagram with that shiny picture? Yeah. The agave. I love your food porn, by the way. Thank it's, you. It's, seriously, <laughs> it's the best. Okay. All and right, then so, peppercorns, okay. and then we're going to add the berries. Peppercorns? Yeah. Okay. Just a little kick, a little flavor. All right. And, and then, then you're going to put this up, you're going to put it up to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, it's really going to depend on how soft your berries are to begin with. When you say put it up to a simmer, do you mean go high first and then bring it down? Absolutely. Bring it okay. up to a little boil and then bring it down to a simmer so it's constantly the really tiny little bit of bubbling. Okay. And then once that is soft enough and it's reduced, you want to mash it up with this. Okay. Just kind of get it going or you could throw it into the blender. Oh, um, yeah. And then you could strain it just to get rid of any chunks. And gotcha. then when you're done, you've got one of these. So we've got strawberry and blackberry. Wow. And did you uh, put it on each of those pieces yep. there? Yeah, we, we did. Used, 
And then what we're going to do, um, Sean is going to finish off Okay. Yeah, with if you want to grab that uh, paintbrush looking thing. Yeah. Uh, first, going back to my comment around chicken, always cook to temperature. So roughly 165 degrees mm -hmm. using a good thermometer. So by checking that temperature in the center of the meat, you're going to find that it gets up to about 160. So this one has a few more minutes. But as you go in, you look, uh, 165 degrees. Uh, so these are done. So what you want to do is glaze. So get right in there with the paintbrush. Okay. And this is going to be really important. You don't want to glaze your chicken while it's over the, the high hot coal heat. in the beginning, right? Okay. Because it's going to burn. There's sugar in there. Right. So you kind of set it at the end. Okay. And that glaze slash barbecue sauce is going to really set well. That is so perfect. Oh my gosh, that looks great. Oh my gosh, that looks okay. awesome. That looks great. Okay. All right, so basically at this point, it's a matter of just trying the food. So okay. uh, why don't we grab... Uh, Can I grab a drumstick here? Absolutely, All grab right. your favorite. I'll grab it. And this has the strawberry on it? Uh, that has the blackberry the sauce blackberry. on it. Okay, yep. I love And if that. you uh, dive right in, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. That's so good. Yes. You guys always knock it out of the ballpark. Thank you really you. do. That is so good. I'm going to have another bite. While you guys hang out, we'll put the recipe on our website at k2.com. We'll be right back with more of AM Northwest. Stay with us.